Explain what you're doing. Taking these bolt bolts on. Not So we're back with another video. Today we're working on my fiance's cash guide. We're going to be changing brake pads from and Ray. She's going to be helping us again today, just like she did when we serviced the car. She might not be in the video that much because she's a bit camera shy. But she's going to do most of the work, I think. Or she can brew up on it too. What do you reckon? So we'll crack the walnuts off, we'll get the car in the air uh, and we'll make a start. This time using the buzz gun. We are one. So we're in. This is the passenger side. What we're going to do first is undo this 14mm bolt and the one at the bottom and that'll free the caliper off. Now, free our caliper up, there we go. There she is. Caliper up there to keep it safe. Two pads. So, what I'll say is, the reason that we're changing the pads is because they were an advisory last year on the MOT. So we're going to do them, because it's MOT is coming up again soon. So this is the one I've took off. You can see they are quite low, when you compare them to the new one. This is the old one, this is the new one. So, what we've done here then, I know what you're thinking, why is he using a wine back tool on the front caliper? What I've got is a Draper wine back tool kit and it comes with, these plates are interchangeable. You put a big plate on and then you can just wind it back in. It's a bit better than just using a screwdriver on your disc, causing risking more damage. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. Just gonna get, push this back in. Cause it's a relatively new car, it's going in very easy. So, we've cleaned up all the areas and we're now going to put the new pads on. I'm just marrying up, slotting them in so I can see where I need to grease up. There, so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh always get a cut, don't you? You always get a cut when you're working on cars. A bit of copper grease, you don't need a lot. This stuff goes everywhere, it's minging. What's this for, babe? What's it for? Prevent squealing. Oh my god, she's amazing. And anti-seize compound. Yeah, 
We'll, we'll make a mechanic out of it yet, won't we? And we'll put that. He says. In there. That's it. The pads are in on the passenger side. Just nipping up the last bolts now. You not get it? You loosened it for me, babe, alright? I'm not strong enough. Right, and now what? Take them little them nuts out of my other 14 millis. Sounds like someone's cutting a tree down in the background, sorry. That's it, one. So that's it. And then you just wanna get get hold of that bit and just give it a wiggle, it'll come off. That's it. Try and pull it. That's it, go on, you got it. And that's it, just place that on top. Look at that. So, is that the first time you ever took a caliper off? Well done. Right then, so what have we done? Change the front ones. The front brake pads. We're now going to turn the car around and we're going to do the rear ones. Rear ones are a little bit different because you've got the automatic handbrake that we'll have a look at and we've also got to wind the calipers back in but I don't know if it's going to be a problem how did you find it? Oh. But this shows you done it. My fiance has done most of the work today. I've shown her how to do one. She's done the other side on her own. Why are we paying garages? Hundreds upon hundreds of pounds. Why are we not doing it ourselves? Right then, so we're now going to do the backs now. For all of you, we'll just get in the car. Right, so all of you fellow Keskai owners who have got this model, you might be thinking, well, it's got an automatic handbrake that engages every time you switch the ignition on. So this is how, this is how you, I'm now going to show you how you have the car switched off with the handbrake off. As you can see, ignition's off. All I'm going to do is turn the ignition on so all the lights come up. I'm then going to put my foot on the brake and I'm then going to push the handbrake down. That will disengage the handbrake and then when I turn the ignition back off, the handbrake will stay off. This now enables us to do the back brakes. That's what we're going to do. That will loose, will it? No, I thought it was back up. Do it yourself, it's your wheel. Just point at things. What she went there was, I want this, the locking wheel key. Can she do it? Like a pro. Is that high enough off the floor? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so we're on the back. Just like before then, I'm going to do one side. Keith is going to watch and do the other. A bit different than to the front. Can't even see me. So a bit different to the front. Uh, to take the caliper off, it's actually a, a 13 on the front. It's a 14. So we'll get it off now. Yeah. 
I need. So that's the rear driver's side off, I had to think then, driver's side off the car. I'm just gonna compare them, a little bit different uh, how you take them off, you, but I'll show you that on the next side, I just want to make sure I've got it right. This one's the old one. This one's the old one, you can see quite thin. This one's a new one, nice big, gone for Immersia, I think that's how you say it, Immersia pads. Isha, Immersia, how do you say it? Isha. Isha, Isha, Isha. You having fun? Yeah. They're cold. She, I tell you something, she's done really well and she makes a cracking brew. Right, update time. Right, update time. That was a bit of a nightmare and let me show you why. If I just show you this then. That's the inside of the cowl, as you can see, it's got three pins. So as, you, as you saw then, that, that's got three pins. Now my wine back tool kit has only got two pins. So what I had to do is I could only locate two pins at a time and get half a turn and then I had to take it off, put it back on and get another half a turn. So it took a bit, a little bit longer, uh, but we got it done, it's in place. We're gonna grease everything up now and put this side back on. Nikita's gonna have a go at stripping down the other side. I'll wind the caliper tool back and then she'll build it back up. So let's get it built back up. So we're just putting the copper grease on. What's the copper grease for, Keto? So it doesn't sweep and so it doesn't like bring it together. My job is done, innit? My job here is done. No, it's okay. Because I can only do half a turn. Great pads. Ow. You just go up past that. cars all back together and on the ground um, we're now going to set the handbrake up to adjust so we'll just step inside so adjusting the handbrake on a Nissan Qashqai then from what I've researched from what I've looked at what I've googled what I've watched on YouTube is all I have to do is engage the handbrake and it's a self adjusting handbrake so this is how we're going to so do it. Gonna switch the ignition on and start the car up. There we go. And all I'm going to do is engage the handbrake and it will engage. It'll just take a little bit longer than usual. And we're in. Switch that off. And that's it, we're all done. Thank you very much for watching. Please give the, this video a thumbs up. Comment if you want to see more videos of the Qashqai. I do understand that this is quite a popular car in the UK, so you may want to see other videos on it of fixing problems that you've got with yours. So please give this video a come up. Comment down below. Subscribe, please, please subscribe. Hit that notifications video. Video? Hit that notifications button. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.